In this video, we are going to look at integration by parts. And this is a key concept that appears in, in most IB Maths exams. So we use integration by parts when we have an integral where we have two terms uh, that have x's in them and then being multiplied or you might see them as divide. Uh, so it's very similar uh, looking to a integration by substitution question. But in integration by substitution questions, we normally have some term and the derivative also in the integral. But in this case, these are completely separate terms. So if they don't look anything alike, like x and cos x, we need to use integration by parts. So let's have a look at the integration by parts formulas up here. Uh, so we, this says that the integral of u, uh, and if you see v, dv dx, this just means the derivative of v in terms of x. So that's just a v dash. So the integral of u v dash and then dx is equal to u v minus the integral of v u dash and then dx. And this can also be written as the integral of u v dash where this here, notice the dx's cancel out and it's just dv, uh, is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. And the final way you might see it is just the integral of u v dash is equal to u v minus the integral of v u dash. So that's the most simple way of writing it. So we need to identify what u is and what v dash is in our question. And u needs to be something that is easily uh, derivable. So if you have x and cos x, uh, we want whatever we want to let u be very easily derivable and v to be easily, or v dash to be integratable very easily. And I'll show you why this is important because in our answer on this right hand side of our equation here, we need to integrate v u dash and we want u dash to be ideally a constant because then we can just integrate v with a constant attached to it. And if this is not a constant, we're going to have another integration by parts here. So it does take a little bit of practice, but in this first question, I'm going to let u equal x because I want my u dash to be a constant and that would be uh, one. So u will equal x and v dash will equal cos x. And therefore you need to underneath to put u dash, which is one, and we need to put v, which is the integral of cos x, which will be sine x. So then we rewrite our question, the integral of x cos x dx, this is u v, let's get our highlighter out here. The first part is u multiplied by v. So it's going to be x multiplied by sine x. So x sine x, then subtract the integral of v u dash. Now v times u dash will be sine x times one. So sine x multiplied by one and then dx. And then if we keep continue on, we're going to have x sine x and the integral of sine x in terms of x is negative cos x. And we already have the minus sign here. So it'll be negative, negative. So we plus cos x and then we have plus c. And this will be our answer for part one. Okay, so hopefully uh, we saw the steps there. Now in this second question, this is a slightly harder one as you will see uh, because we might need to use integration by parts twice in our question. And I, could, I can see that because our u is going to be x squared and notice that our u dash will be 2x and then we're, we're going to get a second integration by parts. So I'll show you how this works. So u in this case will be uh, x squared, our v dash will be e to the negative x, our u dash will be 2x, and our v will be the integral of this. This is e to the negative x on negative 1, remembering our integration rules. So this is just going to be negative e to the negative x. And let's set up our integral. So it'll be the integral of x squared e to the negative x dx. This will be u v, so it'll be negative x squared e to the negative x, once I multiply these two, and then minus the integral of v u dash, 
and this will be negative 2x e to the negative x dx. And then when I go to simplify this right hand side, notice that I have the integral and I have another integration by parts here because I can't just integrate this simply, I need to use uh, integration by parts. So uh, let's, let's first tidy this up. I'm going to actually make this a plus and get rid of this negative sign in here because we had a double negative. So with this integral here, I'm going to have a u, which is 2x, and a u dash, which is 2, and a v dash, which was e to the negative x, and a v, which was negative e to the negative x. Okay, so let's continue on. This was our original question. We're still going to have negative x squared e to the negative x, e to the negative x, and then plus. Now the integral of this is uv, uv, which will be uh, negative 2x e to the negative x. So this will become our negative 2e, uh, 2x e, sorry, 2x e to the negative x, and then minus the integral of v u dash, which will be minus 2e to the negative x dx. And then finally, we'll have negative x squared e to the negative x minus 2x e to the negative x. And then we're going to have our minus minus, which is a plus, and the integral of 2e to the negative x will be negative 2e to the negative x. So it'll be minus 2e to the negative x plus c. Uh, so this is a bit of a long one here because uh, we have an integration by parts uh, for the first bit and then in the second bit. And this is quite common in your more challenging IB maths questions. Uh, but uh, we just need to make sure we have all of our correct signs. This was a minus because it was a minus minus and the integral was minus. So it was a three negative uh, term there. Uh, but this will be our final answer. Okay, so I encourage you to practice a bunch of these integration by parts questions. The key is to identify your u and your v dash, and ideally your u uh, is derivable to a constant, uh, because if it's not, we're going to con continuously get uh, integral integration by parts in the second part of this answer, which will just continue on forever. So uh, try and identify the correct u. Okay, good luck.